Well, I figured my expectations for this movie would be very low. Go figure. <laughs> is up my Cinedroids. G to the S here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing a movie based on one of the most popular kids app games on planet Earth, the Angry Birds movie. Flightless birds lead a mostly happy existence, except for Red, played by Jason Sudeikis, is how you pronounce it? Anywho, he's our main bird who just can't get past the daily annoyances of life. His temperament leads him to anger management class where he meets fellow misfits Chuck, played by Olaf from Frozen, once again, Josh Gad, and Bomb, played by Danny McBride. Red becomes even more agitated when his feathered brethren welcome green pigs to their island paradise. As the swine begin to get under his skin, Red joins forces with both Chuck and Bomb to investigate the real reason about their mysterious arrival. Okay, right off the bat, in terms of the film's story and plotline, there are hints that were taken from the mobile app game. But once we get to the part where the characters invite the green pigs to their island, it just takes a while for the movie to get to the main plot we're all waiting for. And this is not a spoiler at all. In terms of the film's amount of action sequences, once we get to the part where the actual premise of the mobile game takes place, like the whole birds slinging themselves to the pig's place and destroying their houses and buildings, you know it's coming. And that's the only enjoyable part of the whole film. But unfortunately, in terms of the film's plot and character development, it's just not enough to save it from becoming predictable and kind of boring, to be honest with with you. Starting with the character development. There are a few moments in the film where our three main characters are working together to defeat the evil pigs that are stealing their eggs and using them as a sunny side breakfast meal pretty much. But once the comedic humor comes into play, they spend a whole hour and 37 minutes in the movie telling pop cultural referential jokes and slapstick gags and pratfalls that just doesn't fit the environment or the movie's execution whatsoever. But come on, are you that surprised? It's just another one of those lowbrow, generic, egotistical, kids animated films that appeals to what the film resorts to, which is showing bright colors on the screen and focusing on wacky, goofy antics and comedic slapstick instead of taking a bold approach on telling a thought-provoking, grand, creative, and emotionally moving story. But hey, maybe that's Sony's thing to do those kinds of movies. Who knows? Either way, it's very sloppy filmmaking do better. Now, I will admit, the animation and cinematography does look neat to watch, even on the big screen, but I went to see this movie expecting grand animation that appeals to the whole family, showing the gravity of the situations the characters are going through, evolving the characters and learning about their emotional struggle against an evil force that's threatening their lives, and that's what I call good emotional storytelling. But here, it has none of that. It's one of those run-of-the-mill kids animation that just came and went and we don't really care about it honestly. Even when they casted big name celebrities yet again like Josh Gad, Danny McBride, Maya Rudolph, Keegan-Michael Key, and Peter friggin Dinklage of all people. Come on, Hollywood. It just makes the film super distracting. It's that Shark Tale tactic all over again. They made this film just to appeal to the kiddies by showing their celebrity names and that's it. I'm over that by now. Just cast the people that may not be well known by the mainstream, but at least put them in their respective roles so that they would sound authentic and memorable. But hey, maybe Sony does not care what we think. All they want to do is make movies just to rank in some dough and appeal to their demographic. So you know what? Keep up that streak then, Sony. By all means. With that said, guys, in the end, I thought the Angry Birds movie was very mediocre. It had a boring plot, the characters were very forgettable, the animation was beautiful but generic, and the overall accurate representation of the mobile game that came before this movie was very misleading, to be honest. In short, it was very meh. And as a result, I rate the Angry Birds movie two and a half stars out of five. For me, I would rather watch Chicken Run a million times than waste my time watching this again. But that's just me. So the Angry Birds movie. You've seen it, right? 
Well, since I already asked you the same question on my Monster Hunter review, my question for the day is, let me know in the comments what animated film bored you the most. That would be interesting. But as always, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. Also, if you want a shout out in a future video, just follow me on both Instagram and Twitter and I will choose one of my Synodroids to be displayed as a shout out. The link's in the description below. And also, follow me on Stardust so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV show episodes, and trailers. I'll put a link to that below in the description as well so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.